join me in welcoming Professor Jim Elmborg. Um, so I'm going to try to make this brief as a moderator uh, of this session. I want to make sure that people have, uh, uh, have plenty of time to talk. So my goal here is just to introduce things and try to get, get things rolling. Um, I do, I do want to say that as the, as the, uh, as the initiator and um, uh, sort of the person who worked through a lot of problems with the Virtual Writing University Archives, I got a huge education in copyright law and fair use. Um, and I, I, at that point, thought that if you could do anything cool with technology and you could put it online and it was a good project, that was probably enough. Uh, it, it, uh, it is not, and I became very sort of um, educated in, in, in phrases like, well, it depends, <laughs> um, which I, I'm sure we'll hear more about today. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. I think this is a great panel, um, and I just want to introduce everyone who's going to speak to you today, and um, then I'm going to sit down and let them, and let them take it. Um, to my right is Nicholas Johnson. He's on the faculty of the College of Law, um, teaches in areas of communications and internet law. Uh, uh, Professor Johnson was FCC Commissioner from 1966 to 1973, um, and many people speak of, uh, of him in hushed tones for uh, many of the things he did in those days. He wrote a book in 1970 called How to Talk Back to Your Television, um, and he is probably the only faculty member I've ever known who's been on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. Um, he's a prolific uh, blogger, um, having put out uh, uh, almost a thousand posts since 2006. Um, Kembrew McLeod, to his right is Faculty Communication Studies. Um, his Wikipedia page lists him as performance artist and media prankster, uh, which, is, which is interesting. And, and many of you may remember um, uh, Kimbrough's um, trademarking of the, of the phrase freedom of expression and his controversial uh, battle with AT&T over that. Um, I, I've, I've always thought that, those, that, that Kimbrough's pranks are, are really interesting ways of getting at some really important issues, and we're really lucky to have him. He's written extensively about new media culture, intellectual property, copyleft, digital sampling, hip-hop, and, and a lot of other interesting topics. To my left is Paul Soderdahl, Associate University Librarian for Information Technology. Um, Paul is uh, very involved in the uh, Committee on Institutional Cooperation and in issues related to libraries and librarianship in the new media age, uh, particularly uh, what we call this crisis in scholarly communication, um, issues of, of who owns the publications that faculty produce, how do those get sold back to the universities um, that are largely underwriting the system, um, and also in, in ways of solving that, including open access, access publishing and potential for projects like the Hathi Trust. Um, so I'm sure all of these things are going to come back up as we talk today. I'm going to turn it over to um, Nick Johnson now. <laughs> 